Welcome to uh, this month's newsletter. Today is December 30th. We're looking at the weekly chart of the Nifty. Uh, Chicago, we can easily see, is in the congestion zone here, and uh, the Kijun is flat. Notice how the prices are tracked back to it up, down, up, down. Uh, the, the flat Kijun is a magnet for the prices. So at this point, there's really nothing to do but uh, stay out of the market. You don't want to. Uh, take a guess on the market. Chicago is going to run into resistance here and under the candles, which will be bearish, and you're just going to fluctuate with the price. Uh, the Kijun is not going to move until uh, either the highs drop down or the lows uh, drop up. Um, so at that point, uh, until then, the Kijun is going to stay flat or until the prices make new high or lows. So I uh, don't see that happening quite yet uh, in the near term. So you're going to have a fluctuation around the Kijun. The only the downside is the trending Kumo here, a thin trending Kumo. So if the bears take control, they have a good chance to break it to the downside. Um, so at this point, really no need to hurry into the market. Just uh, just observe here um, what happens. Um, as far as the daily is concerned, that's daily Chicago is still under the cloud here, but the candles are getting out of the Kumo. So. Uh, but again, you really, this is like a congestion zone here until the prices break out of this area. Really, there's nothing to do. So, uh, no need to hurry into the market. All right, let's look at ICICI Bank, which is one of the few uh, which is bullish stocks here. Uh, I would not be afraid to buy ICICI over these highs with the Chicago breakout. So, uh, this one you can definitely keep on your watch list for a break to new highs. Uh, let's see, DB Realty. Here's DB Realty trying to do a fry pan bottom. If I would, I would want to uh, think about buying this one. If they can close it above the weekly Kijun. This is a weekly chart. Uh, it is bearish because it's bull of the Kumo, but uh, there could be a small play here, uh, a quick trade. Looking at the daily, you are above the clouds, and Chicago has confirmed the breakout on the daily. So uh, with the gap up here on the prices, uh, don't want to see a trade back below the Kijun on this one. Uh, United Bank. This is a weekly chart of United Bank. Uh, as you can see, it is bearish in nature, but we have closed about the 50 week moving average. Let's look at the daily chart. Chicago did have a breakout, and the prices did break out uh, last week with a gap up. Um, we do have a bearish candle on the gap up, so there could be more consolidation here. But I would keep this on the watch list, and uh, the stop would be very clear if they can, uh, if they close it back below the 50-week moving average. I would want to get out. Hindustan Liver, another um, bullish stock at this point. Chicago will run into resistance. I would keep this on the watch list. Uh, see if uh, they consolidate this some more, and then uh, do a breakout. Uh, so I would buy as soon as the Chicago breaks out. Um, Bail, nothing there yet. It's inside the Kumo going up and down. Uh, that's the daily chart looking at the weekly. Uh, it's hitting the uh, Kijun again, and Chicago is in a congestion area, so nothing there to do. Let's look at HDIL. HDIL on a daily, it's still inside the Kumo. Did have a gap up though, which shows strength. Um, Chicago has, uh, is still inside the Kumo also. We might be trying to go to the test. Uh, this 200 day moving average. Uh, looking at the weekly, we have a flat key gen. Surprises will be attracted back to it. Not big, not much play there. So I would keep this just on the watch list, see what happens. Uh, this is too small of a play to trade. Uh, Nifty Bank is also bullish. This is the weekly chart. However, notice that the Chicago is going to run into congestion here um, and the flat key gen. Uh, Kijun is not going to move until a few or rather at least a couple of months uh, before the Kijun moves on its own. So uh, banks might uh, might be consolidating at this point. And last one, LNT is daily chart, very bullish. I would not be afraid to buy this one on these highs uh, with the Chicago breakout and use the Kijun as a stock. Uh, we'll have a Ichimoku course again in January. Um, I think I'll write about that in the in the email. 
uh, give some discount on it if somebody wants to start off the new year with a with a good course and uh, use that in the trading for the uh, for the new year. So happy new year to you all and wish you the best in trading and uh, in life for the next year. That'll be it.